Chronic kidney disease, CKD, is a progressive condition that leads to end-stage kidney disease and eventually death. While CKD primarily affects kidney function, it also increases a patient's risk of cardiovascular events. In fact, patients with CKD and type 2 diabetes, T2D, are three times more likely to die from a cardiovascular event than patients with T2D alone. Approximately 374 million people have type 2 diabetes worldwide. Up to 40% of these patients also have CKD. In patients with CKD and T2D, three major categories of pathophysiological drivers promote CKD progression. Hemodynamic factors, like increased blood pressure. Metabolic factors, like elevated blood glucose. Inflammatory and fibrotic factors, like pro-inflammatory and pro-fibrotic proteins. But one of these is unaddressed by the current standard of care. Inflammation and fibrosis. In the kidneys, the mineralocorticoid receptor, or MR, is a key trigger of inflammation and fibrosis. Under normal conditions, MR signaling regulates electrolyte and fluid balance within the kidneys. The MR may become pathologically overactivated under certain conditions, like type 2 diabetes. In patients with CKD and T2D, pathological MR activation in the kidneys is believed to be due to increased expression of the MR and its activators, which leads to the production of pro-inflammatory and pro-fibrotic proteins, inducing inflammation and fibrosis within the kidneys. Renal inflammation and fibrosis gradually cause thickening and hardening of the glomeruli and injure the kidney's tubules. Over time, inflammation and fibrosis may lead to a progressive decline in kidney function, increasing the risk of end-stage kidney disease and cardiovascular events like myocardial infarction or stroke. Because all three categories of drivers contribute to CKD progression, all three should be addressed in order to alter the course of CKD in type 2 diabetes.